I got interested in writing poetry in 1999 at age 62. My inspiration and motivation to write poetry is started when I was a member of a koinonia, a Greek word for community. This is a special prayer group of Catholic men and women in Green Bay Diocese selects a church in town in central Wisconsin where they want to hold a Quinenia retreat. In one occasion, during a weekend retreat, I was asked to talk on the subject of prayer. The group wanted to hear something about prayer from someone coming from a different culture. At the end of my talk, I handed out a simple prayer written in poem form, made like a bookmarker that I handed out to each member. Many liked it. The poem is written on page one of this book. I like to read and write poems with rhyming pattern. I notice also that rhyme is found in most lyrics of Sunday Mass hymns and songs have praise glorifying God. I find it pleasing to hear the sound when their lyrics rhyme. In high school, more than 60 years ago, I had an English literature class at St. Mary Academy in Palo. Palo is my hometown. It was interesting to read books of poetry. American poet Emily Dickinson's poems were more interesting to me compared to her contemporary poets during that time. Two of her best 10 poems, I am nobody, who are you? And I taste a liquor never brewed. Have the characteristic writing style that illustrates her love for rhyme. I love it too. I learned that an idea is necessary in poetry. Inspiration, impressive happenings, and imagination on any theme are the primary ingredients that help me compose my poem. When I am motivated to write words and phrases, pop, start popping up in my head and I have to write them down immediately before they are lost. Working on rhyming lyrics I do last before I can call my poem completed. I think I found a niche in my God-given gift and I feel grateful for it. Realizing my limited knowledge about poetry is how a new fight poet came about to describe myself.